incisional and intraperitoneal anesthesia. When performing an incisional or intraperitoneal block, the surgeon will prepare a syringe of local anesthetic in a sterile manner. The maximum doses of local anesthetics are calculated. The need to perform additional local or regional blocks should be taken in, into consideration. For example, one may want to use both an incisional and intraperitoneal anesthesia in a dog undergoing an ovarian hysterectomy. In this case, the dose should be divided amongst all the blocks. Incisional anesthesia is accomplished by infiltrating the wound or the skin that is usually present in the surgical field with local anesthetics. The technique has been used most often before laparotomy and is part of a multimodal analgesic approach. But it can also be applied in skin sutures, before chest tube placement and other surgical procedures. For a laparotomy, local anesthetics are injected into the subcutaneous tissues along the linear ulva either just before the final aseptic preparation or in the incision by the surgeon. An alternative to this is after the incision has been made in the skin and subcutaneous tissues. During an ovarian hysterectomy, using intraperitoneal anesthesia, the local anesthetic is splashed onto each ovarian ligament and on the cervix of the uterus prior to their removal. Intraperitoneal anesthesia is performed under general anesthesia where the local anesthetic is applied directly to the tissue to be anesthetized. The recommended doses for lidocaine are 8 mg per kilo in dogs and 6 mg per kilo in cats. The recommended doses for bupivacaine are 2 mg per kilo in dogs and 1 mg per kilo in cats. Volumes may be increased if needed by the addition of sterile saline.